Yay! This is episode five, week five, day 35 of the Great Root Race. And while we're gonna start transplanting these Clonex starts into Smart Pots for the first video in the next series, the Great Grow Race, this is the final video in the Great Root Race series. So I thought we'd take a look back at everything that's happened so far and at just how great everything turned out. Plus, this is the episode where we reveal what I fed the mystery trays, 11 and 12. So keep watching and maybe you'll learn something. I hope I do. And this is a seven week, five video series where we grow basil from seed. That way we can test and compare the products I sell in my hydro store. And so we can finally, once and for all, figure out not only what works best, but how best to use the products. And while later in the video, we'll be mixing nutrients, watering, feeding, and comparing plant growth. For now, let's start with an introduction. Hi, I'm the Grow Boss, and this is my hydro store, where I get to meet lots of growers and listen to their stories, which is exactly how I wrote my book, The Grow Book and Equipment Guide, because for years now, I've been collecting and writing down all the questions my customers ask. And if at any time during this video, you want to find your closest hydro store or where you can buy my book or any of the other products you see in this video. Just click the opportunity button when it pops up or go to everyhydrostore.com. Okay, let's do a quick review of everything we've covered so far. And what we really focused on in the first video was an introduction to the great root race, the rules and equipment we were using. And then, in episode 2, day 14, the lesson was Root Booster or Root Buster, and we mixed and fed the starts for the first time with all the products we are testing, while talking about how those different products exert their efforts, because even though they may appear to have similar results, they most certainly do not work the same way. Then, in episode 3, week 3, day 21, we fed for the second time, and the lesson was over watering, and how it affects the roots, and there was no way to understand that without first learning how the roots worked. That's why we did it in that order. And that's why I waited until episode 4, week 4, day 28, before we did our third and final feeding. And we went over the topic humidity and humility, because once you understand how the roots work, and once you understand how overwatering affects the roots, you will automatically understand why you don't need a Mondi humidity dome when you start your cuttings in a hydro system like the turbo clone machine but you do need a Mondi humidity dome when your cuttings are in root riot trays like these and the great root race is just the first in the series and when we finish it we're going to transplant our starts into smart pots and grow them out and while we do that we're going to be testing other products like jellyfish and mycorrhizae from great white and grow and growth booster products like Green Fuse and Roots by Humboldt Nutrient, Green Pad CO2 generators, and other products. We'll also be testing different light setups. For instance, we're gonna test stationary kind LEDs versus kind LEDs on light movers. And we're gonna mix and test and compare different nutrients under the Nickel City Bad Boy T5 lights like these, and other fun stuff like that. Of course, Humboldt Nutrients will be our baseline nutrients because I like them. My customers like them, and they're inexpensive and easy to use, and they have everything you need to grow great plants. And finally, after we grow the basil plants, we're going to take cuttings from them and test rooting products in the turbo clone machines and under the Mondi humidity domes with Root Riot starter plugs. Only this time, we'll be testing the products on cuttings instead of seeds. And then we'll compare and measure those results, just like we did for the first Great Root Race. Okay, I know that was a lot, and it sounds ambitious, but we got this. Now, let's go over the rules. Okay, let's compare the trays now. And let's start with tray number one. And this is the tray that only got pH adjusted 6.0 Ultimate RO water. And you can see the plant needs something more than just water, right? And you can tell by the time-lapse footage, this tray 
has been dying for weeks now. And the roots are dead too, but with nothing to feed them, it's about what we expected, yeah? And now, the Clonex Solution Trade. And remember, this was the control trade, and it only got Clonex Solution. And just look at how lush and green they are. And I can't imagine how anything could grow faster or better than this. And yet, this is only the control trade. This is our baseline. It's only going to get better from here. And then, when we compare the Clonex Solution trade to the 6.0 pH adjusted Ultimate RO water, well, it hardly even seems fair. Crazy, right? Check out those roots. Next is the Mycochum control tray. And this got nothing but great white Mycochum. And remember, Mycochum is food for the microbes we're testing in trays four, five, six, and seven. And that the only reason we did this control tray was to isolate the results of the Mycochum. So when I showed you trays five and seven, you could see how effective the addition of the Mycochum is. And this is the control tray that got nothing. This is the control tray that got Comex Solution. And this is the tray that got Mycochum. And remember, Mycochum is not food for the plants. It's food for the microbes that live on the roots of the plants. Now, this is tray four. And this is the tray that got great white microbes. And just look at those starts. They're huge. And the roots, just as huge. And both the starts and the roots are bigger in the great white tray than the control tray because great white is awesome. And now let's check out tray number five, the great white with mycochum tray. And let's see how valuable it is to feed the microbes in addition to feeding the plant. And while it may not be noticeable up here where the plants are, holy shit, check out the roots. It for sure is obvious down here where the roots are. There, there are the roots in the trays that got nothing but pH water, these are the roots in the Clonex Solution tray. These are the roots in the Great White tray. And these are the roots in the Great White plus Mycochum tray. Check that out. That's some blow your shit up roots right there. OMG, right? That's why I always tell you to add Great White microbes. Now, let's go over the equipment we've been using for the last 35 days, and then we'll go over tray six and seven. And now that you know that, let me introduce you to the equipment we're using. To start with, we're in two by four by seven Gorilla tents. And don't tell Gorilla, but I had to do a little scissor modification in a couple of places because their top lid is so tall. And they do that because it adds a lot of structural stability to the tent. And we all know, Gorilla makes the toughest tents with the thickest materials. But it did get in the way of the video. So I did a little customizing. And then these wire shelves are just your typical wire hardware store shelves. And the distance between them is the same in this tent and in this tent. And Nickel City lights the project as always. And this time we're using their four foot, four bowl bad boy T5 lights. And for the first couple of weeks, only two bulbs will be on. And then, when the starts are bigger, we'll reevaluate and increase as necessary. Below the lights and keeping the starts warm and humid and comfortable are Mondi humidity domes with Mondi hygrometers, which will help us monitor the conditions inside the dome. And of course, the domes are resting on Mondi premium white trays with 50 count Root Riot starter plugs in each. Okay, let's look at the roots in the Orca tray and the Orca with Mycochum trays now. And Orca is the hydro version of Great White. And tray six got one mils of Orca three times. And just look at those roots. And these are the roots from control tray one that only got pH adjusted 6.0 ultimate RO water. These are the roots in tray two, the Clonex solution only tray. And this is tray six the orca tree. And again, it's obvious that the addition of microbes is totally worth it. Now, tray seven, the orca with mycochum tray. 
and look at these starts. They're huge and the roots just as huge. And even though microbes are meant to encourage root growth, you can see how bigger roots grow bigger plants and use up the same amount of nutrients even faster. And now let's check out the orca with mycochum roots. And let's see just how valuable it is to feed the microbes in addition to feeding the plant. And while it may not be as noticeable up here, where the plants are, there's a party going down under here, under the Root Riot starter plugs. Check that out. Don't you wish you were invited? Now that's some blow your shit up roots. And look at those mustaches. Crazy, right? Okay. Let's go over the rules of the Great Root Race one more time, and then we'll take a look at the rest of the trays, including the two mystery trays. Okay, there are only three rules for the event. Rule number one, we only feed with this stuff three times throughout the entire competition. Week two, day 14, week four, day 28, and week six, day 42. And any and all other necessary waterings will be done with pH adjusted 6.0 ultimate RO water tested with a three in one megameter. Rule number two, for right now there are only two bulbs on because four bulbs would be too much for our little seedlings. But soon as the starts are ready for it, probably around week four, episode six, we'll turn the other two bulbs on. And finally, rule number three, these are my results. Yours might differ, just saying. Now, let me introduce you to the trays. And now trays eight and nine, and these are the rooting hormone trays. Tray eight is Roots by Humboldt Nutrient, and tray nine is Green Fuse by Clonex Solution. And before we even compare it to the control trays, just look at the roots in the Roots by Humboldt Nutrient tray. And these starts are killing it. And now when we compare them to tray two, the control tray, you can see why I tell you, this shit will blow your shit up. Check that out. Just look at the roots and the starts in the Roots by Humboldt nutrient tray. And the same thing here. Look at the green fuse tray and look at the roots on the start in the green fuse tray. That's some shit to be proud of, hmm? Bet you wish your starts had roots like that. Now, before I show you the roots in the mystery trays, trays 11 and 12, let's check out the last tray in the series, tray 10, the green pad tray. And remember, this tray only got CO2 in addition to the Clonex solution. And holy shit, Batman, look at those roots. And remember, the green pad CO2 generator only generates CO2, which does not act directly upon the roots, but instead, allows the plant to convert light faster. And then when we ask what the plant does with that extra energy, all we have to do is look at the roots. Check those out. Crazy, right? Which of course begs the question, what would have happened if we used all this stuff together, right? Like what if we did one tray that used great white microbes with the mycochum and roots by Humboldt nutrient and some Clonex solution and some CO2 from the Green Pad Junior, CO2 generator, what then? And that brings us to the mystery tray, tray 11. Which surprisingly enough is exactly what I did. I used all these products in tray 11. We added great white for the roots, Clonex solution for the food, roots by Humboldt nutrient for the rooting hormone, and we added a Green Pad Junior for the addition of CO2. And just look at those beauties. And check out those roots. And while all these products work great, if I had to pick one tray as a winner of the great root race, I would definitely have to say it was tray 11, the combo tray, with everything in there together. Not only did it have big roots, but the plants and the stalks were also the thickest. Now, let's look at mystery tray, tray number 12. Okay, so this is tray 12, the other mystery tray. And before I even tell you what I've been feeding this tray, I just want to remind you that I can't be the whole...
that I can't be the only one that wanted to know because you guys have been coming into my store for years asking me if it really works. So yes, I've been mixing five mils of my pee into some ultimate RO water because I wanted to know if the nitrogen in urine works for growing plants. And this is the answer. So you don't have to try it anymore. And in case you were wondering, I had burgers the night before the first feeding, tacos before the second, and just for fun, Brussels sprouts before the third. Before we end this episode though, I want to go over the real lesson you should take away from the Great Root Race. And it's not that all these products make everything better, even though they do. The true lesson is patience. And yes, I know the Great Root Race took five weeks and that if it was up to you, we probably would have transplanted these starts into veg three weeks ago, soon as you saw that first root. But look at what patience got us. Just look at those roots and just look at how healthy those Clonex solution starts are. And yes, I know we could have rushed the process, but I don't think that would get us better results just because you do things faster, because it took us 35 days to get these results using these great products. That's why I tell you, the lesson should be patience instead of rushing your shit into veg so you can kill your shit as fast as possible. And join group 85. Okay, that's it for the great root race. Thanks for watching. I had fun doing it. And while I'm waiting until the next series, episode one, day one of the great grow race to transplant these Clonex solution starts into smart pots, you should know that we're gonna be testing these plants the same way with products like jellyfish and mycorrhizae from Great White. We are of course going to use Humboldt nutrient as our base nutrient. And then we're gonna test all that under stationary kind LEDs versus kind LEDs on light movers. And we're gonna use our four foot, four bowl Nickel City Bad Boy T5s with all four bulbs on too, to help us test and compare different products. And then when we're all done with that, we're gonna take cuttings from those plants and we're gonna use Clonex Mist and Clonex Rooting Gel to get them started. And we're gonna take those clones and we're gonna put them back here in the Rapid Rooter Trays and the Turbo Clone Machines and we're going to run the entire great root race experiment again except next time we're going to start from clones instead of seeds before we end the show here's a couple of words for the sponsors when you go shopping don't forget to get gorilla tents if you want the most hardcore heavy duty tents on the market and mondi humidity domes for the perfect environment so you can start the perfect clones and when it comes time to feed those clones, you're gonna to wanna to do that with Clonex Solution, the perfect food for your perfect little cuttings. And of course, all these little seedlings are being supplied fresh CO2 from Green Pad Junior CO2 Generators, the perfect CO2 for your perfect clones. And don't forget to buy great white microbes for explosive root growth. Finally, something that keeps its promise, Great White Microbes really does blow your shit up. And don't forget, all this growth is happening under Nickel City Bad Boy 4 foot 4 bulb T5 lights. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm the Grow Boss. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions between now and then, you can always schedule a consult with me by clicking here. Trust me, I know how much you've spent and how much time you have invested in this. And I promise, I can fix your garden in about an hour. So call me before you quit.